moved to the new location, but I thought y'all might want to see some of this. Man, I just drove by some fat ass houses. Oh! Oh my goodness! Mansions, mansions! Money! Money! Oh! <laughs> I'd be overhyping everything. Okay, now ask, bro, look at this. So you got this, you know, fat ass neighborhood, big ass houses. What kind of little weak ass playground is this? I'd be mad as hell if I was a spoiled kid living, living over here. And then right across the street, fat ass mansion. <laughs> what is that? Massive. Oh my goodness. Who would want to live in a house that big? <laughs> Shit, me. <laughs> oh no. Mm 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 mm. mm. I ain't gonna lie though, I don't really need no mansion in my life. I mean, a big house is nice and everything, but when it comes to me and my passions, give me give, give me what we just saw back at, at that car show. Give me give me a little playground like that. That's, that's all I need. I don't need a fat ass house like this. I was talking to the landlord, there, well not the landlord, the developer. He was talking about that pe people buy the whole buildings out. Millions, millions of dollars. Insane. You know what also I don't be getting? People be having these fat ass houses and where they be driving? They be, dri they be driving Toyota Highlanders, uh, Ford Expeditions. I'm like, you know what I mean? You got money. Look at how y'all living. And y'all driving some basic ass car? I don't know. Maybe I'm a hater. Hell no, I'm not a hater. Get your priorities right. If you got money, buy a nice ass car. Don't drive no Ford. That's why I'll never be rich, because I'm just going to spend it all. Supra? We definitely know where they're going, though. Shelby here. All right, we have this little cruise right here. And basically, just a bunch of raw ass cars that are just gonna be coming down the strip. And that's that. <laughs> Ferrari. That's a Holden? No, that's a Pontiac. It's so stupid. <laughs> Motherfuckers getting in accidents and shit. This is why, we, look, this is why we can't have nice things, y'all. This is why we can't have nice things. So motherfuckers can't drive. Oh, they, are they just randoms? I ain't worried about that. <laughs> you already know you got the best car out here. You already know. <laughs> you said do a backflip? Yeah. You think you think this can do a backflip? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Right. How about you do a burnout? You do a burnout, I'll do a backflip. Do it for the channel. <laughs> Clickbait, y'all. It's gonna be my clickbait. <laughs> that's the that's the clickbait. Mm, oh my goodness. Look at that big ass blower. For sale? <laughs> Let me buy that quick. He said for sale. Oh, yeah. 
clear enough. Send it! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, send it! <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! First gen Corvette, we saw that at the museum. Next video gonna be me at the Corvette Museum. That, that's not even a joke, man, for real. So make sure y'all tap into my next video. the Hudson Hornet, that's not Doc, is it? That's a Ford. Oh, that is. That looks raw, bro. What is that? Hey, for real, what is that? That looks raw. Oh, I've been, I see hella people over here. I've been down this way the whole time. Are you kidding me? This is where they've been parked. Oh my gosh, I'm stupid. Well, this is where the literal meat is. This is where... Oh, oh. I made two huge oopsies in one day. Sh showed up late to the first car meet. Didn't even see this, bro. This is where all the cars are. <laughs> How did I miss that? I thought... I'm actually heated. Like, now it's dark. I can't get good shots for y'all. I'm just standing there in that corner waiting for cars to drive by. Not even thinking that these cars are parked somewhere. Wasted all my... Oh, I wasted all my drone footage, too. And all probably all the all the whips are probably gone by now. Oh, there's oh, there's a McLaren or the Lambo. I can't tell. I'll check this one out. <laughs> Why? Kyle Flicker. What do you think Kyle looks like? Kyle. <laughs> Kyle's a guy who wears a button. <laughs> <laughs> A bright pink button on oh, with, with a couple flowers on it. Okay. With some really skin tight yeah. blue jeans. Oh, yeah. Blue jeans? What about okay? I or like blue jeans or the, the or the khaki shorts, right? Khaki shorts. The khaki, there you go. I think khaki, khaki shorts. shorts yep. Yeah, I think the khaki yeah, shorts. Yeah. He definitely tried to put a golf bag in the front. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Or it could be or or, or, or what if it was daddy's money? You think is that? Oh yeah. Oh daddy money. Oh. No, daddy no okay. What would he look like if it was daddy's money then? So daddy's Supreme, money. right? Supreme? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just got the little fanny pack. Yeah, yeah. Super tight beanie. Big J's. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's wearing these. Yeah. Wearing those? No, no. He no. He would be wearing the the off white ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. what if I told you this was the honor? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like, I'm not taking anything back. I said. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> What was, what was your name? Luke. Luke, I'm Zach, nice man. To meet what was you your name? Cottrell. Cottrell, I'm Zach. What was your name, B? Carson. Carson, I'm Zach, bro. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Hello. Is it an actual GTR or is it a GTS? Bro, this is a whole. Say, these are, this is a whole body kit, bro. This is not a real. This is not a real 34. There's no way. Is it a real 34? It's an R34. It's just not a GTR. GTST. GTS. Huh? I knew it. Okay. What, is that? I knew Hold on. what do you mean? What do you mean? So, I'm not confused. You know, no, these are all the, the chassis is the R34. Okay. So just like R32, R33, R34. Right. Okay. This is just a GTST. They I've never just, heard that. What is that? What's the, what's the GTST? It's not a GTR. Is what it is. Okay. So basically, it's not all-wheel drive. It's rear. Just rear. -wheel drive. Oh, shit, that's still cool. <laughs> that's cool. It's yeah. just not. It's just. Oh, is this not, sold in America? Where? What is no, it? Is it Japan? Japan. They don't sell. What them. year was this? Uh, probably 98 to 02. How, but how's that possible? How'd you get past the 25 years? There are ways soldiers and stuff can bring cars home. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. That's one of the ways they do it. Really? Also, there was a big scandal in the 2000s. With yeah, the I know that one. Stuff. So either that was one of those cars, or it was a um, yeah. or it was a soldier who who bought it. Yeah. Bought it I've seen it, I've seen at least one other. For one. real? Okay, yeah. interesting. But there's there's no like there's no GTR R34 as of right now in the, in the state. I mean, other than that loop, loophole or whatever in the 2000s, right? There are a couple of them. Yeah, like a handful. A handful. Yeah. But they're not legal yet. Right. Got you. So if unless it was brought home under motor X or a yeah. soldier, yeah, it's not here. Uh, yeah, that's that's still raw though. The fact that you can have one of these, man. Yeah. I thought it was a body kit because I've never seen I've never seen one. It's my first time seeing one. I mean, obviously it's not the GTR like you said, but. Yeah. So, so that this this is a badge then. That's just a. So what they usually do is they just buy used badges. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They buy badges or they buy the bumper and they buy the fender and they yeah. slap them on and call it a day. 
Do you, do you know the people who own this? No, I don't care. I don't know who Bro, they look like 16 year olds. Because <laughs> that's what they, they have. They're, they're relatively yeah. They're relatively affluent. Yeah, I guess. I don't care if you're affluent. You have money that's affluent. Right. Affluent, but you do cheap shit like this. Yeah. That's what pisses me off. Yeah. Like my car, like you would never be able to tell it's modified, but if it's 25. Right. So what you got? What are you driving? Which one? You're yeah. telling me it's a sleeper, this is making power? You gotta peek under the, you gotta peek to the, uh, the intercooler. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah, there it is. You wanna pop a hook quick? Are you a little sensitive? <laughs> Let's see it, bro. Let's see it. This is a sleeper sleep. This is the definition if you're making power. It's mainly parts from Japan. Really? You're gonna have like a. 50 PSI Garrett Turbo on there. <laughs> just, uh, just 9 pounds. Let's see. Not just 9 pounds? That's still cool. Where's it at? Uh, oh, I got you. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I see. But it's mainly like really special Japanese stuff. Like um, oil filler cap had to get that okay. for a special promotion. Really? Yep. So we well, could only get these for about three months. You can only get it for three months. So what, they're like limit, like limited edition or something or what? Pretty much. Okay. Carbon fiber hood studs. These are made yeah. to order. Made to order. Okay. And then you have a carbon fiber ECU cover. This is That's made to order. Made to order. It takes about four four weeks to make. Okay. The supercharger stuff. Um, then it has new clutch flywheel. Clutch flywheel. <laughs> Limited slip differential. Okay. I got you. But uh, it also see. has a Mugen cat back exhaust. Yeah. J racing downpipe, so no cats. Okay. No no cats. No cats. So it sounds really neat. Uh oh. And it's got the the carbon fiber gauges in it. It's got yeah. the uh, yeah. If I were to start it up, you can see some of these slip gauges. Yeah, I would love to hear it, man. Let me hear this in the back. <laughs> you ever seen that boosted hybrid? <laughs> that is that is hilarious. Bro. That is so fucking raw. Bro, supercharged. Yeah, that shit crazy. Wow. That's raw, bro. I love that. Check out the gauges before you go. Check out the gauges, I'll see it. So yeah, it's got no cats in it. No cats? Yeah. What, what year is this? It's gotta be like 2015 something, right? 13. 13? Okay. And you, it's crazy, because you would never know. You're absolutely right, you would never know. That's the point, at least for now. And it, it still has the, the hybrid system too in it? And you do this yourself? Nope. Oh, okay. Had a shot do it. Shot, had a shot do it? Yep, so you can see it's got the hybrid wires. Yeah. The motor itself is actually this little silver portion. Okay. Right? Or it's just MF6. Your camera probably can't see it, but it's just yeah, MF6 right down there. Yeah, that that is the hybrid motor. Okay. It works basically, it pushes the crankshaft along. Got you. So. Got you. That's all it is. Man. It's 182 on uh, 93, 192 on E85 to the wheels. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that's pretty quick for this. I mean, because yeah, what? What do they make it standard out stock? Isn't it like, is it barely 100, right? Crank 130. 130, yeah, 130. So estimated, if you want to do cheap stuff like calculations, yeah, which we'll do, then it would be about 210 yeah. on 93 and 221 on E. Yeah. How's um, how's how's the handling? It's, it's fun around a corner. It's for real. Suspension in it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you were to peek in, uh, if you were to peek in there, I could crank. Uh, some HPD suspension. It's basically made by Showa. Barely can see it. Yeah, but that's iPhone quality. Yeah, iPhone quality. But then it also has right down here brake cooling panels. Those are from Japan. They're discontinued. Okay. You cannot get those anymore. Discontinued. Yeah. Hey, you a big parts guy, man. I like that. I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. There's not many people like you, bro. And that's what really annoys me about <laughs> going here. This is, all right. Hey, listen, y'all. This is a real JDM fan right here. This man right here is getting parts that no one's heard of. All right, limited edition parts that they don't sell no more. All right, you're not a JD Dem fan if, if you're just buying a Honda Civic. This man is doing it right, right here. Well, see, that's why I hate that word, JD I hate the word. Yo, why do you hate that? You explain that to me now. Because it's just a catch all term. If it's a Japanese car, it's JDM. Well, it's but you would consider yourself a JDM you know, enthusiast. You want to call yourself that? Uh, because anyone can do this. And, and it's not I mean, JDM because it's still a US car, and a lot of these parts are from the United States. I thought, you said you, I thought you said they're from Japan. Well, no, but a lot of them are from Japan, but a lot of them are from the U.S. Like the superchargers from the U.S. Oh, is it? Okay. The differential final drive are U.S. Okay. And some of these parts are sold in the United yeah. States from retail. Really? Okay, But some of them are not. Yeah. The ones that are not are like, you know, the hood dampers. You can't get those right. in the States. Right, right. You can't get the ECU cover yeah. in the States. You can't get the, uh, the gauge pod in the States, at least not anymore. You right. You can't be able to do that anymore. Man. It's just fine 
details that people don't give a shit about. Right. No, I, I think it's interesting, bro. It's fascinating. Fascinating. Yeah, but if you want to talk about actual JDM stuff, yeah. it'd be like the clutch and flywheel kit if you're old. Right. It's the ECU cover. I'm going to be talking about this. That's my favorite piece. So, what, so what's, the, what's this ECU? So this is the car's computer. It's okay. a cover. Yeah. The stock one is plastic. This okay. is carbon fiber. Yeah. It's made by hand. Made by hand. Yes. So what? If you were to pop this out, you can actually see it's unevenly cut. Okay. And you can see that they have to lay the, uh, the heat insulation on the yeah. inside of it by hand to get it open here. And this is just it's just like a small company from Japan, or? It's a little silly, but you can see it's Fields Honda Twin Right. Fields Honda. Fields Honda Twin Cam. Okay. The name. I don't know why it says works over there. Yeah. That's the only thing I see it say works on. But, um, and, and this is the company name, Fields. Fields. I'm going to yes. look them up later. I, I love learning about new things, man. Yeah. That's crazy. But I've never there seen There are other ones like Jay's Racing. That's who made the manifold. Okay. The Catalyst manifold. You can get those. Um, yeah. A couple hundred bucks. Actually, reasonable price. Yeah. Um, it's just you got to know some people. HKS is actually not as good as you think it is. <laughs> Spoon Sports. Yeah. Honda bags. Yeah. Not good? It's kind of trash. Spoon. It's actually kind of trash. Spoon, not, not. I own this, the oil pan in here is from Spoon. Really? Yes. Now tell my viewers, what, why, why, what's, what is, why? What the hell was that? What, why, why, what's, what is, why? That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want. Why is Spoon so inefficient or? Uh, less of a product compared to these other companies you're talking about. I've even asked other people. I've yeah. asked the owner of the performance shop who did this car for me. Yeah. I've asked people in Japan. They say they're kind of trash too. Is quality? The quality can vary from product to product. Some of them are okay. Yeah. Like the raging collars. Yeah. The other things that go in the subframes. Okay. Those are good. Yeah. The oil pans here, the welds look like ass. No way. They do. And there's, there's a reason I'll it'll give it to them. Okay. It's because it's aluminum. Yeah. And they're only being able to weld it from one side. Okay. So, do you know anything about welding? I don't know how to weld. I know a little bit about welding, not, nothing crazy. Okay. So it's it's just really difficult. Aluminum transfers heat very easily. Right. And so other things can melt really quick. Yeah. You have to get the welding in really fast. Right. And in this, you can only get it on one side. Okay. And it is fast, so it looks like shit. <laughs> but their exhaust in particular are yeah. awful. They sound really? trash. They sound terrible. They're not that great. It's if you get a Mugen exhaust like this one. This one has a Mugen cap back exhaust. Okay. So you saw the tip earlier. Yeah. The big Delta tip on yeah. it. That yeah. is from the earlier CR. Okay. This one's actually coated. It's right here. Yeah. But um, it's, it was coated by like some um, by some uh, manifold stuff. It's to prevent it from corroding in the Corroding. Rain. Okay. Gotcha. But if you were to actually see the quality of machining that goes into this stuff, yeah. you'd be blown away. I, they, I probably would. They laser engrave yeah. things into the exhaust. Yeah. The part number, the lot number, yeah. the company that made it, the date of production, <laughs> right. the engine designation. Okay. And so they weld that onto both the resonator right. and the muffler itself. Man. And then the quality of welds right. are absolutely amazing. So if, if, if your camera can pick that up, see? It's got the engine designation, right. LEA MF6. Yeah. The date of production, it's kind of hard to read. See, this is moving yeah. all the way across. Got the part number, moving. got the lot number, made in Japan. Yeah. And get this. When you actually get this thing, look at the welds here. My hands are really cold. No, you yeah, me too. <laughs> so look at the beautiful welds. Oh yeah, that's have. gorgeous. So, yeah, see, I know what a good weld looks like. Yeah, so the welds look like that. Yeah. And they're doing on you said both sides or only one side? All the way around. All the way around, okay. Look at this. The take weld yeah. on the on the can itself. Yeah. It gorgeous. Amazing. Yeah. And you tell me spoon can't do that. Alright, spoon is not at that standard. So what so what are they just they just keeping their, their name from their racing lineage essentially or that's all it is? Not really. I mean again, some of their stuff is still yeah. okay. Okay. Like again, the rigid colors yeah. are very useful. Okay. I'm gonna be getting some eventually too. Yeah. But there are things like, you know, their exhausts again, some of their other stuff is yeah. just not that great. Really? Even their I'm gonna have to look into that a little more. I, I really didn't. I, mean, I guess I never really thought about well, it. I just know spoon is, you know, a big up there. You'll never get an honest answer out of anything. Really? The reason is, it's because people harp on about it so much. They pretend it's great. Yeah. But then they never see these parts. Right. So if you're to put this car up on the on the lift yeah. and pull off the cover, you can see the spoon sports. It says um, a buffle oil pan. It wow. says buffle. They misspell it. It's great. Wow. And it has like um certified um certified ultimate performance. It yeah. Says. So that's the stuff you really see on genuine parts that no one actually talks right. about. Again, no one really sees it. They, yeah. see, these, they see these pictures. Right. And that's totally fine. And right. You can love a car for that. It can be on your wall and it's cool. Yeah. But it's once you actually own these things, you go right. through the process of ordering Building you know, your own engines, you know what I mean? Getting the parts and stuff. Right. That's where you really get to learn these details. Yeah. All right, we back. We're going to keep looking. 
got some cars here until we get kicked out, essentially. It's supposed to end at 9, it's 9 o'clock now. Shout out to my boy Alex just showing me his uh, his, his hybrid Honda. That's, that's, that's one of the dopest cars, putting me on a lot of very rare parts that I've never even heard of. Oh, what's going on? Be honest, like yeah, them trucks are big as hell, but like this is probably the best looking truck here. To be honest, them Denali's are sexy. I want cloud. I want cloud too. I want cloud. That shit roll up. Flame on a car, everyone runs. <laughs> 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 